I see. Hey guys, this is Larry coming to you live from Lawrence Walks Village in Escondido, California. I'm uh, in the bathroom at the Recreational. I figure, what the heck, if Park Rebels can do it, I can do it, right? Anyway, I wanted to make another video that might help you guys. And tonight I decided to talk about the expanding scales exercise that Bill Adams came up with in, at Indiana University in Indiana. I learned it through Gary Grant and Larry Hall. Larry Hall and I were playing together in Alexandria, Indiana at the Bill Gaither Recording Studios um, many years ago, 1978. But prior to that, um, Jerry Hay had come to town uh, along, along with Charlie Davis and he, these guys gave this routine to Gary Grant who gave it to me. And it's something that he would do on a daily basis. Larry Hall would do it on a daily basis. In fact, I really think this exercise is probably one of the platforms for success of the Bill Adams students. It's time for you to learn it. Here's how it goes. First one from G to D. would not use my bottle like I just did, but I like to get the air, feeling of the air moving, that's why I use it. So you're holding it out long, you're looking for uniformity of sound, you're looking for a center on your tone, and you're looking for clarity and intonation. So really concentrate on the sound that you're getting at the end of the horn. Next one's F sharp to E sharp. I'm holding it out a long time. I'll get a whole lot more out of it if I do it like a long tone exercise. The next one is F to G. Forgive me, I'm getting a bit of a glitch in my valve tonight. I've lost my valve oil. Got a gig tomorrow, so I better stop at the music store. So the next one's F to G. Again, we're looking for intonation. We're looking for uniformity of sound. Keep this throat area really open and clear. So you're really breathing deep from the diaphragm. You're blowing full and relaxed air. Playing the trumpet should be as relaxed as blowing out a candle. There you have it. The next one is, let's see, that would be E to G sharp. Just sit there silently, maybe play around on my phone, watch Facebook or whatever. But I'm always trying to rest as long as I play. And now, back in the old days, I would I witnessed guys like Gary Grant, Jerry Hay doing these as the buddy system. One would play, the other one would rest, and that way they were getting an equal amount of rest. My mentor, Harold Mitchell, was a great advocate of that as you're practicing rest as much as you play. Why? Because that allows for the lymph and the blood to get back into the muscles of the face in order to clear out all that lactic acid that you're building up. And you really seem to build muscle quicker that way. However, do not, I mean, do not um, uh, 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 forget about playing endurance exercises. The only way you're going to gain great endurance on the trumpet is to practice endurance. So two schools of thought. Accomplishing two different things. Next one is E flat to B flat. Again, 
we're after uniformity of sound, we're after intonation. So we're, what we're trying to do here is we're playing the same embouchure from low to high so that we're not stopping to reset the chops. We're going all the way from low to high, so one fluid motion allowing the air to carry you through. Remember, coming down the hill, it takes just as much gas as going up the hill, so keep that support going from the diaphragm. The next one's D to C. I needed to take my own advice on that one. A little glitch there. Next one would be C sharp to C sharp. Again, we're resting as much as we play. This is very important for muscular development. Looking for intonation, which is hard because my horn's been in a hot car and it's all stuck in my mouth. are not working well. I forgot my oil. Okay. C sharp to C sharp. sound, clarity of sound, center of tone, and watch for your pitch relative to the scale. There's nothing uglier than doing playing a scale out of tune. You've got to listen for it, and you've got to aim for it. You have to hear it before you play it. C to D, low C to high D. Great exercise, you've got to keep the chops the same. You can't fudge around on the placement or anything, you've got to keep it at one blow from low to high. You're gonna let the air take you through the motion. The next one is B to D sharp. I went a little too far. Okay, B to D sharp. Listen, Larry. And you can hear how slotted my sound is because I'm really concentrated on the centering of the sound. And that takes getting the right balance on the airstream and relaxing here. Now we're going from B flat to F. exercises the chop properly because you can't move around. Let's see. Let's go for the next one, which is going to be A to F sharp. Dizzy there. Old age. What can you say? Next one is A flat to high G. Now again, you're changing from low to high. So you're starting on that low setting and going all the way high. So it's really kind of important at this point that you let the air do the work, try to keep the pressure off the, off the chops. <laughs> Uh, the student would probably get all over me for doing that shake up there. 
But it felt good. What can I say? Okay, the next one's a G. G to high G. Um, some guys take it to the A. Let's see what I got it into me today. That was ugly. Not bad. The last of it is F sharp to F, or excuse me, F sharp to G sharp. Some guys take it to the B, uh, to the A sharp. I've got a bit of a break on the A sharp. I do something strange to get my B flats out. But if I go from low sharp, F sharp to, to um, high A sharp, it usually breaks. Let's see what happens this time. <laughs> break there. Uh, I need to work on it some more. I haven't done my expanding scales in a while. This exercise will help you tremendously. It will stabilize your embouchure. It will help you find the proper setting for you between low and high. It will help your ears finding intonation uh, it, 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 relative to each note on the scale. Um, so many benefits from this exercise. It's a great way to start your, your day. Hope that's helped you.